Season 11 is finally over, and man, what a good season it was. Okay, maybe good was a slightly strong word. But in all seriousness, season 11 has come to a close. And while there are a mountain of questionable mm, game balance decisions by Riot, overall the season was quite fun. You might not think that now, but in a few years time, you'll probably be overcome with nostalgia when looking back at the time you spent on League this year. I can confidently say that whether you reached your goal or not, and whether your rank went up or down from seasons past, you have without a doubt made progress as a League player. But fuck all that sentimental shit, because it's pre-season baby, we've got new items to try out, new dragons to get bent over and fucked by, new skins to drain our bank accounts, but most importantly of all, we've got to get some elo. But wait, what do I mean get some elo? Isn't preseason just a time to mess around, try out new things? No, 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 hell no. Let's get this straight now, just so we're all on the same page. Preseason is more important than the actual rank season that follows it. If you get preseason right this year, season 12 will be yours for the taking, because not only can you get a massive rank head start, but you can also set yourself up for insane long-term success. So in this video, Video, I'll be showing you how to do just that. But before I show you how to get a head start, I first need to cover how not to fall behind, which is actually really simple. You just need to play games. Now I know that sounds like literal hell, but just hear me out first. Every single year for the past three years, every time a new season starts, the same thing happens to me. I lose a shitload of games. Like, I mean a load of games. I think this year I had a record of 1-9 after coming out of my placements or something like that. It was really bad. But why did this happen? Well, as I said earlier, it's quite simple. I just didn't have a feel for the patch because I hadn't been playing any games. I think I played about 30 games at the beginning of the preseason to test out the new items. Then I just got bored because I didn't have a rank to grind, and I went to play other games for the rest of the month. As a result, I had no clue how much damage people would be doing when the season started, so everything was catching me by surprise, and it was just a complete disaster. Being able to calculate damage is the essence of what it takes to play your champion to its absolute limits, so if you can't do it, you're going to get fucked over when the season starts, and you're going to fall behind. The bare minimum that you should do to avoid that is play at least 100 games, or ideally 150. And honestly, playing this much will probably give you a slight head start as well, since at the very least, you'll outpace the people who hardly play at all, just like I did in previous years. But, getting a feel for the patch is just the bare minimum. To actually start giving yourself a significant advantage, you need to do the one thing that absolutely no one else does in preseason. Actually try. Yep crazy I know. So instead of playing 15 different champs in 15 games just because you feel like it, keep playing your main. Well I mean you can try some new champs here and there but we'll get to that later. And instead of turning your brain off in all the preseason games, I want you to do everything in your power to win. So basically just put in 100% effort. Considering everyone else in your games is most likely adopting the mindset that preseason doesn't matter, they probably won't be trying very hard. Because of that it's going to be very difficult for you to force yourself to try when no one else is. I mean there's no point in putting in effort when your team is practically full of trolls, right? wrong. That's actually the exact reason that trying in preseason puts you at such an advantage. In League, on average, the level of play in each rank is increasing by a certain amount each day. For you to move up in rank, you need to increase your level of play faster than everyone else. So say for example you were gold in season 11, and let's say the average skill level of a gold player increases by something like 0.1% each day, just to pick a random number. For you to rank up out of gold, your skill level needs to go up by more than 0.1% each day. However, in pre-season this changes. The average skill level of a gold player goes from increasing by 0.1% each day to probably almost 0% because everyone just stops trying. This means now that season 11 is over, if you continue to improve at the rate you were before it ended, you'll start making your way up the ladder much faster than you were before even though you aren't doing anything different. That right there is the power of pre-season. This is why I said earlier, pre-season is more important than on-season. Hopefully you're starting to believe me now, but let's just move on, because there's still a lot more you can do to get ahead of the curve. So next, let's talk about champ pools. Firstly, if you're wondering, but uh, aren't you literally a Zoe one trick? Why should I listen to you for champ pool advice? Good question. So it's pretty common knowledge that having a small champ pool that fits a wide range of situations is very good for climbing. Keeping your champ pool small ensures that you'll be playing at a very high level on all the champs you play relative to your rank, and being able to flex to a variety of different situations ensures you'll end up with less games that are just lost in draft or straight up dodges. Ideally, you should have a champ pool consisting of two to three champs that have similar playstyles and can be flexed to a variety of situations. This notion explains why a lot of people share the idea that preseason should be used for trying out loads of different champs, 
finding a couple you like and adding them to your champ pool. But as I said earlier, you kinda don't want to be doing that. More than anything, your goal in preseason should be to set yourself up for long-term climbing over the next season. And as I was saying earlier, taking the game seriously to give yourself a head start is the best thing for achieving that. If you're trying out 50 new different champs in ranked on your main, that's not really classed as taking the game seriously, right? But at the same time, learning a new champ or two will help you massively in the long run. So what do you do? Well, first off, you need to work out if you actually need to learn a new champ or not. At the end of the day, it's up to you, but I would say you should only learn a new champ if you currently play less than three champs and if learning a new champ would make the game more fun for you, or if you end up in a lot of hard to play lobbies and feel forced to dodge frequently. If you meet the first condition and one or more of the others, learn a new champ or two in preseason. To learn a new champ, there are two ways to go about it. One, go play your new champs on a different account and try to get that account to the same rank as your main. Or two, on your main account, win a few games with your main champ to get some LP and then swap to the other champs that you want to learn and throw that LP away. Repeat this process again and again until you can win consistently on the other champ then you can go try hard for LP again. Following these steps, you should be heading into Season 12 with a decently high rank compared to what you are now, and a solid champ pool. Now that's great and all, but there's one problem I have with this. I'm one greedy motherfucker, so I want more. Because, you know, it's nice and all that everyone else has stopped trying now that it's pre-season, which has allowed you to make progress on the ladder, but it's also not that nice because game quality has still dropped. Even though you're improving faster relative to everyone else, you're still improving slower relative to yourself during the on-season. This is by no means a bad thing, because as I explained earlier, climbing at the end of the day is a competition, so you'll still be climbing up the ladder faster. But as I also said earlier, I'm a greedy motherfucker. So I thought of a way to improve just as fast as you were before, despite the dropping game quality that preseason brings. And that's through 1v1s. I've always advocated for 1v1s or 2v2s for bot laners being the best form of practice in League. Every player below master tier without a doubt has multiple fatal flaws in their laning, and even all master plus players have noticeable issues. If I'm being honest, I think everyone below diamond should practice solely on their laning phase to improve and climb, but that's more of a me thing than an iron rule. But my point is, laning is extremely important and it's easy to practice. The problem is, actually playing League games means you only get to practice your lane for about 5 to 10 minutes, and and then the game devolves into a 30 minute clown fiesta and it's just a complete waste of time. And then couple this with the fact that it's pre-season and even the 5 to 10 minutes at the beginning of the game isn't that helpful most of the time since your opponent might be trying a new champ or simply not trying. So the only way to get good practice is to find people to 1v1 that also actually want to practice. The only way I can think of to do this is through discord groups or simply by adding people in your games who you struggle to play against and asking them. If you're struggling to find people, my discord has a channel where you can give yourself a role and ping everyone else with that role if you want to look for a partner. But yeah, I mean, there are millions of league players out there. I'm sure you'll be able to find a few without my help. The thing is, it's not good enough to just hop in a 1v1 and play it out. The best thing to do is to do 30 minutes of 1v1s each day and go into each of the 1v1s with an idea of what you want to practice and mentally focus on getting that thing right for that day. After you've done a day of 1v1s, review some of them and work out what your issues were. Then you can go into your next set of 1v1s with a bunch of new things in mind to work on. If you play jungle, you should probably just practice clearing while panning your camera or something. I don't really know. I don't play the role. So take the game seriously, get a feel for the patch, learn a new champ or two, abuse 1v1s or 2v2s, and season 12 will be yours for the taking. I wish you all luck in your preseason adventures and will pray that you don't run into too many first time Yasuos and Rivens on your journey. Thanks for watching, lads. In a bit.